Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Hi, this is Rhonda Six with CS3 Technology, and the knowledge tip for today is how to set up matching groups in HRMS. This has really helped clients ensure that they remain compliant with their savings plans and keeps them from over-contributing, which in turn saves dollars and heartache in the long run. So in our example, the savings benefits have already been set up and we are coming back in to add the matching group. Let's get started on adding that matching group. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to Setup, Employees, and Savings Plans Group. You can see I have no group set up, so I'm going to click Add. When the detail page comes up, we're going to put a code in for our group, 401k match, 401k match group. Employer contribution type is going to be a percentage, and the max that we want to contribute per employee is going to be 4%. I want to go through my available plans and select the plans that I want to group together for this purpose. I can do that by either double clicking or I can select all. Next I'm going to take this 401k R, the Roth plan, and I'm going to move it up. And the way HRMS is going to review this, it's going to take these in the order that it sees them in this list. It's going to apply the match to the first plan and then the next plan as it sees it on somebody's payroll. It's going to give them, let's say, 3% at the beginning, and then the additional 1% maybe would go on the other one, depending on what somebody's contributing. Here, I'm going to go ahead and say apply. I'm going to get this little warning or an acknowledgement. In order for this to take effect, I need to complete the update benefits process after this. So I'm going to acknowledge it by saying OK. I'm going to say OK again to finish the process of setting it up. Now I'm going to X out of this. Um, just like it told me, the very next I'm going to go to Employees, and I'm going to slide down here under Processes. I'm going to go to Update Benefits. Now here we're going to get a warning that tells us we're about to make changes to potentially all benefits and potentially all employees. Best practice is that you would go and do a backup of your SQL databases at this point, and then we would proceed with the update benefits. We're going to pretend I've already done that. I'm going to click Yes to update benefits. So it's finished up for us, and it's told us that the benefits have been recalculated. We're going to click OK to acknowledge that. Got one thing left to do to make sure that this comes out properly, and that would be to do an open payroll to take these changes that we've done in benefits and push them over to the employee pay tabs. I am the type of person who likes to see what it was before so that I can so I can come back and check it after and see that our changes were applied correctly. Jen here is a very star employee. She is contributing to multiple plans. So I'm going to pull her up and I'm going to go to her employee payroll and then when this comes up, I'm going to select her pay tab. In the pay tab, I'm going to look at the matches for her multiple plans. So I have a percentage match that is showing a 4%, and then I also have the Roth match that is showing a 4%. Well, that's going to be too much because we just said that our percentage match that we can make for our employees is 4%. This is going to put her over that limit, and that's going to mess us up later. So let's go ahead and run an open payroll on her, and 10257. We're going to want to know her number to be able to do that. So let's close that. We're going to go payroll, open payroll. I'm going to select her group, and I'm going to just give us a little date change there. And you're probably familiar with these, 10257 to 10257. Just for sake of timeliness here, we're just going to do her so that we can see how this affects it and makes those changes. We've got the updates up there. I'm going to update. Again, you could print this report so that you have it for later. I always say no because I want, only want to see errors on the report, but this says that everything was updated successfully and I'm going to finish and close. So now let's go back and see how those changes were made. 
on Jen's pay tab. So let's go payroll, employee payroll, and now on the pay tab. Okay, so we see that the first one is 4% and the last one is 0%. She can still contribute her 5% per pay period, but the company is only going to contribute 4% toward her match which is, according to our plan documents, seems to be perfect. Voila, it will save you a lot of heartache in the long run. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.